Hello, Jennifer. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Let's look at the inside of this one. I'll send you some pictures of the outside. It's raining pretty good right now, so um, that kind of eliminates me showing you the outside of this. But this one's right at your price point with tax title and license. We'll be right at 30. It's a uh, Kodiak, which is a brand I like. These are the bunks, and I'll have the exact measurements of them for you, but I think they'd work just fine. It has a decent slide out here, so for kind of full timing, which uh, they're going to be doing temporarily, that's ideal. Um, it comes with a fireplace, which is a functional space heater for you, AM, FM, radio, uh, that'll play movies right to your TV for you. It's a 50 amp camper with two air conditioners. Solid surface countertops here with a little LED light there. I don't know how to turn on, but that's kind of nice. Metal sink. This one is kind of a winner winner chicken dinner from what you're telling me your use of it is. Second AC in the bedroom here and a second door, which is nice to get a good breeze because they'll each have their own screen door. A true 60 by 80 queen bed here, so changing out that mattress or sheets is real easy. And the previous owners already installed a bedroom television for you as well. Side closets here and storage along the top. No water damage, no odors. This one uniquely has one-touch leveling as well, which is super rare on a travel trailer, meaning that no matter where you put it, push a button, it'll level itself. I know you're going to leave it in one spot for quite a while, but if you do flip this uh, later on, that'll be a good selling point to whoever you resell it to. Here's some pantry here. Your bathroom is a nice big tub shower. And it's a porcelain toilet instead of plastic. I wish it would stop raining enough to show you the outside, but the pictures will have to do. Big closet here as you first come in. But again, it's a brand I like, Jennifer. It's $27,880, I think, plus tax title and license to get you right to your 30 or so. I might be able to beat them up a little bit on that, but probably not much. We just got this one in not too long ago. And it's kind of a rare find, so you probably won't have any trouble uh, selling it. But this is my first choice for you. Let me know what you think of this. And we can kind of go from there. Maybe it stopped raining just enough to get outside here. It comes with a griddle or a grill uh, in your pass-through storage here. And a little bit outside kitchen. Here's the outside for it. It's a one-piece fiberglass cap. It's a fiberglass trailer. Again, these Kodiaks I like. Great big awning. Outside television mount here. Here's a little bit of a mini fridge and hot and cold running water outside. And then that grill will pop right on your bumper mount grill here. It's got a backup camera, whether it has the display or not, I'm betting it does because these people seem to have kept all their paperwork. And here's that one touch leveling that I mentioned. This is usually reserved for fifth wheels. It's very rare to find it on a travel trailer. And here's your control for that. So that, like I say, is pretty rare. We have an RV park here on site, and what that means is you guys would know 100% everything works just great before you leave. You can even spend the night in it, which is what I recommend here at the RV park to make absolutely certain everything's 100%. But this is, I think, a good choice. Let me know what you think of this, and we'll go from there. I appreciate it. Let's go camping.